I'm really into the physical anatomy of yoga and understanding kind of how the body works and why, why this practice is such an integrational therapy for everybody. But I like to look at the psychology. That's kind of my, my recent most passionate component of practice teaching is helping my students utilize their practice to be their therapist and to delve deeper into that, you know. Um, so that's kind of been, for the last few years, as I'm really deconstructing and reconstructing a lot of my own personal life, yeah. it's been pretty powerful for me. And I tend to kind of teach where, I'm, where I am personally. In terms of the physical practice, that's, you know, Regimented, I teach just like Guruji and Shrat did, but then I, I guess I bring a little bit of other things into it too. Was, is it hard for me to be a mom and to get in my mat every day? And the answer is no. It's not, it's easy. I, I feel really blessed because it is easy for me. I don't question it because I know if I don't get to my mat, then I'm not, a very, I'm not, I'm not in a good space to teach and I'm in an awful space to be a mom. Um, so it's a duty for me personally, but it's also a joy for me, and it's a blessing for me. And a lot of moms ask me, like, how do you do it? You just do it. It's not an option. And when you take that away, then it makes it easier. As I'm teaching more and seeing more people and watching people cry in the mat or being afraid or, like, they, they go into new postures and all this stuff comes up, just like everybody does, if they stick to this practice daily, like the body changes, but the mind changes, and we start to see things in a different way, and we start to really purge. Um, as a side note, I, one of the main reasons I love coming to India year after year after year is because this is a place where I can be vulnerable, and I can let go, and I can be really, really sad, or really happy, and just really purge things that don't suit me anymore, or don't work for me anymore, and, Maybe I didn't even know that, really understand that, and then I come here and I'm just able to be a student and it all kind of just, it sheds. So I get to see that with my students and um, I think that through the practice, we're able to see ourselves for who we really are, but we don't understand what we're seeing. There's, there's a bit of deconstruction before reconstruction, and I think you know, we, get, we go through this honeymoon phase in the practice. Those who are really destined or predetermined in some capacity to do Ashtanga Yoga fall in love with it quickly. And it's that, oh, it feels so good, and I love it, and I enjoy it every day, and you're telling the whole world, and you want everybody to experience this amazing, joyful thing that you have. And then that kind of ends, and when that ends, physical pain starts to come, doubt starts to come, um, mental pain starts to arise, maybe memories from long ago bubbling to the surface. You're in the middle of a posture and you have a flashback of something awful that happened years ago or a fear and insecurity that you have. You're kind of sitting with it every day. and The practice does that, right? Um, I think that's when people either really stick with this and dig deeper or they, they hit the road because they're like, I'm not going there. And, and the value of sticking with it, as those of us have been doing it forever know, is that it's just beautiful. And, and we're able to see ourselves in a different way and able to find acceptance, you know, I think from within first, but then outside and, and be able to look at the world differently and have a lot more compassion and humility and gratitude for what we have and what we don't. You know, we change. And we have something stable and grounding to keep us every day moving forward, one foot in front of the other, that we don't have to question because there's nothing about it to question. Then the rest of it kind of fixes itself or works itself out. And when we can learn not to be so hard on ourselves and judge ourselves and just kind of be present in the moment.